Welcome to Editing 101 with Nubuke. Um, <laughs> Don't nobody say nothing about how I look. Nubuke. Nubuke! So I'm always getting requests on like how I'm editing my videos and I actually wanted to bring you guys onto the process of like ideation, editing, you know, that kind of journey. So I just came back from Kenya, I went on a trip with YouTube and I wanted to break down the process of how exactly I think about ideas for videos because I really like learning about like other people's processes and stuff like that. So come along. So I've already edited some of my videos. The way my brain works is that I think a lot of thoughts and I put them in different places. That isn't always helpful because then I have one idea in my notes app, another idea in my notion. So if you are not this person, clap for yourself. Eventually, I want to streamline my process so that I have my ideas in one place. So the first thing I was going to say is organization is key, 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 key. But that being said, you can still work with the messy brain, messy mind. You just have to like eventually try and like streamline the process. So this particular Kenya trip, my focus was actually enjoying the trip, just being immersed in the process of the trip as opposed to planning before I go for the trip and this is how the video will go. Sometimes I plan my videos after I already have the shots and sometimes I plan the videos before I get the shot. And as a YouTuber, you're gonna come across many times where maybe you don't feel like filming. Guys, I don't even know how to do this one. You don't know what's going on. So you need to have, I guess, the hindsight to be able to craft your story just in case you don't get the shots that you need. So we're gonna like streamline the process. I ended up writing down a list of short form content that I think that, oh, you know what, maybe I can do. So I wrote when creators meet up because I had a couple of shots with different creators together. So let's look at that one right now. What happens when black creators meet up? Magic. I also got this shot, this shot of 0 0.5, this is how you get this particular shot. This shot is 0 0.5 and then you flip around your camera. 0 0.5, you can get it on the iPhone and some Android phones, I don't know which particular one. So me, I, I'm, I'll just use my iPhone example. But 0 0.5, you flip your camera around that you see it's giving you like a vlog vibe. But I knew I wanted this shot. So I did, oh. So I have this shot and I was thinking, 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 well, what at all can I do? Sometimes too, there'll be moments where you see like a particular TikTok and you're like, oh, this is a really nice TikTok. Can I try and recreate it? Now, always, always give people credit if you can. Remember, especially if they are black creators, because a lot of our content, as much as you might think that they hit the front lines, a lot of them, it really doesn't hit as far as like, you know, other counterparts with other skin tones. So especially, especially creators, if you can remember, make sure that you give them a credit. If we look at this and we look at the layering of the video, in fact, this is actually very lazy work if I'm being very honest with you. If you look at this, this is just a TikTok video. I'll show you. This is just a TikTok video under from the first person who used this sound. And then I put this under as my audio and I ended up doing voiceover work. So voiceover is here is the one at the beginning which which literally reiterates what is in the subtitles that says what happens when black creators meet up now on top of that too another thing that i've i've learned and i'm trying to use more of are rises rises build tension rises are like zoop, like sorry that was loud but rises are things that are supposed to build tension in video what happens when black creators meet up Thank God this one ended up doing well. So I posted this on Instagram and luckily in this, and this is where you need to be smart, right? There is something called social, I think it's called social hacking or something like that. That's when you add other creators into your video. Let's say, for example, I tried Kim Kardashian's diet for 48 hours. So for the next week, I will be training and eating like Megan Thee Stallion. Because Kim Kardashian is in the, in the title, people are going to watch it because, oh, you know what, Kim, like we want to see what Kim is doing. So with an example like that, so that's social hacking. This one, mm -hmm, it's not really on the same trend, but it does have a lot of creators in there. So at this YouTube event, I met so many different creators. So I was kind of fingers crossed, banking on the idea that, oh, maybe somebody will repost it, you know, and then that reaches a wider audience. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's still a dope video. But this video is a video that leans heavier on the other creators you know, might just repost it side. Additionally, this is a popular song right now. So this is from Beyonce's My Power, which is from the Blackest King album, which is the album before Renaissance. However, because Blue Ivy has been doing the dance and you know, she's on the tour and this is the song that it's been playing, it's popular again. 
I don't know if in two months it's gonna hit like this, but this is a video that hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't know if it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 video, but we're trying something. And guys, I really, really want you to understand that I didn't plan these videos beforehand, but it's key that sometimes you just look at the footage and you say, what can this footage be? Sometimes it's useless, sometimes it's good, but I just want you to try. Try the dumbest thing, the first dumb idea that comes into your mind, use it. So, I don't know what's been happening this year, but this year, my moods have just really been up and down. I did a podcast episode with a YouTuber, Bria Jones, and she talks about, like, how she, um ends up going to see like a naturopathic doctor you know who, which was able to test her hormones but basically the whole of this year my moods have been going up and down so like proper mood swings so a lot of times this year there's gonna be moments where i just do not feel like filming like i'll be in the middle of filming and i just want to throw my camera away because i'm like this is useless footage so i cannot stress how key it has been for me to just be able to take a step back even if i didn't pre-plan the videos and just absorb the content that I have after so if you're freaking out that oh my god I have all this footage I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this footage it's fine first dumb idea that comes to your mind I want you to be able to see if you can put it into something I've just explained how I did the when creators meet up but the black joy video that I ended up doing is very similar <laughs> The Black Joy video, I really, really like it because when I was small, I went to go watch a play. I had a South African or Kenyan theatre group that ended up coming to Ghana when I was really small. It, it, the play was called Umoja. And Umoja is a Swahili word. So I was like, oh, damn, let me actually, let me, let me, okay, Swahili word, okay. They speak Swahili in Kenya. Let me see if I can put it together. It's a really, really nice song. So I was like, oh, how can I do that? Oh, there's so many different creators that I was able to capture dancing. Can I put it in there? So I put it in there. So remember what I said about social hacking? That as well, there's so many creators in my video. Even if these creators don't repost it, at least they get to see themselves dancing. You know, which is nice. Or they get to comment. Like, it's, it's still nice. So I ended up putting it there. Two low maintenance videos. The next one was a little bit more intentional. So this is the pick my safari outfits with me. Now, funny enough, I had already pre-planned. So, okay. I said I didn't pre-plan vi some videos. In the back of my mind, some videos were pre-planned. Like, for example, pick my safari outfits with me. I had actually already planned out this video and picked my safari outfit. Look at that. So I'm going on a safari. So I'm going on a safari, blah, 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 blah. Look at this. So this is me talking for two minutes straight. You know, it's a nice video, but it's really not the coolest thing in the world. Like, is there any way I can do something else? And I think a lot of times YouTubers, it feels so inauthentic if I film any or do voiceovers after the video it's like why couldn't you think that far ahead why didn't i film this on the spot but the reality is you are one system sometimes we're fortunate enough to have a team but basically you guys are one you are one unit there's gonna be a lot of things that you think oh damn i should have shot that earlier on right so i kind of got out of my head a bit and bear in mind i had already filmed i had already filmed i had already gone to kenya google, google? i had already gone to kenya right and I was like, oh, let me just film picking my safari outfit again. So I went to grab my hat. Google? Goggles? It's flying me to Kenya. So we need to look for a safari outfit. So we're looking for something along the lines of... And so that's what I did. So bear in mind, I picked out all my safari outfits already. But I was like, oh, what if I pick my safari outfits and I make it like a Sims character? So I quickly went on the internet and I was like, oh, dress up doll games for Safari. I came up upon a website, they didn't even dress up black characters. I was like, fantastic. What does Google, why am I going on this trip? YouTube black, Google representation. Fantastic. It plays into it. So then that becomes a meme of me trying to dress my character as a Safari character. Post Safari thing, right? You can tell the story however you want to tell it. It doesn't necessarily have to be in chronological order. It does not even necessarily have to be 100% accurate. 
is how can I tell this story in the most ridiculous manner ever? And the reality is, if I had thought about using Sims to plan my outfits, I would have done that. But there was no time. And when I came back after the thing, I was like, how cool will it be if I dressed up as Sims and the Sims character was able to be my representation of my safari outfit? Uh, I'm gonna come along. Yeah, so but like, I'm gonna talk and then I'll say... So look, this is even me instructing the guy in Kenya one of the volunteers on how he can hold the camera as I'm walking it because I wanted to do a matatu tour cool so this is how that goes so imagine this guy so I just got ready for the YouTube event and I, I know I'm looking like a big boom oh my god guys I got ready for the YouTube event and don't be scared don't be shy especially when you're filming to say things twice I started and the boy had to stop because he didn't really understand what was going on so this is the, the original one the first one and then do not ever feel like you're not being authentic enough you showing up is your authenticity Finish. You can shoot things five times, ten times, it doesn't make you any. Imagine this, guys. So I just got ready for the YouTube events, and I, I know I'm looking like a baby, but come and see that the car they gave us. So that's kind of how we've done the Matatu video. All I did was match to beats. It could do well, it could not do well. I don't know. I kind of like the lollipop slash, you know, area codes mix that the DJ has done. So we're gonna go with this song and we're gonna do that. So we have one more video and we're gonna look at that and see what we can do. Perfect. So have you seen these animated faces that I'm doing? What if I started the vlog like that? So look who. I'm sure there's another one. So what if it's like a, a sound where it's like, ah! Voiceover. Oh my goodness, today I'm getting my nails done with- Oh my goodness, I'm getting my nails done today by Manny by Minnie. Just, just for a little, for little bit of context. She, she, is just she just started her nails, her nail journey. I, I like this, I should be writing this down. Cause it's all voiceover, so I have the luxury of doing that before. So, oh my goodness. She lets us look through options to see which one I like the most. And voila. I don't know if this is too long, so I actually have a whole part two about how I actually ended up editing the whole long form video version of the I'm graduating again. And so let me know if you want to watch that and I can also like finish up editing that piece and then put that there for you. But I felt like the video was getting a little bit too long, so I didn't want to stress you guys out. But hopefully this takes you along a little bit of my process. Um, if there's any takeaways that you guys should take with this is the fact that, listen, you are the storyteller and you get to tell whatever story you want to as long as you have your camera as long as you have your little brain you can just like splice up something and cut it up and tell whatever story you want and so yeah um see you in my next video love you and bye i just might be a black bill gates in the making mm -hmm. so watch this space Watch this space